All right. We're fucking. We're sucking. We're getting our little hogs absolutely ran through the mud. I'm trying to dip my boss hog in the mud. That's that's what I call getting having anal sex. I would actually like to fuck the mud. I want to fuck the mud. Make yeah, the make a pussy yeah. out of the mud. I've been living out here. In the yeah, boy, I'm trying to get out here. Get me make a pussy out of mud. Boy, boy. I've been out here <laughs> fucking the mud since I mean, since I was two. I ain't I ain't survive off nothing but crawdads and all the cum people be leaving in the mud. Mm-hmm. I drink the cum for protein. Thank you very much. That is uh, a <laughs> guy who. <laughs> Fucks mud. Well, that a guy who fucks mud, and then the guy who drinks the mud to survive mm. might have been Pierre Saint Pierre. I don't know. Who knows? Well, we got uh, Adam here who's changed his name to Kiki. Yeah, Kiki. Kiki. After do you love me? Legendary Nick <laughs> Kiki Vandaway. <laughs> uh, don't talk about the Knicks, man. We don't want to talk basketball. We recently have found out that the Nets have absolutely turbo cucked the Knicks and also, have signed both Kyrie and Durant, and I'm sad. Yeah, it's free agency Sunday. Yeah, so we're yeah we got the ticker on. Nick is the most invested in it out of all of us. Nick's got the Woj bombs uh, coming through on alerts. Nick, who do you? Where do you think? Um, where do you think Kawhi Leonard's going, Nick? France. <laughs> you think he's gonna go to <laughs> France? Go to <laughs> he's gonna have a nice vacation in Paris. <laughs> we were just there, I think. Were we? I think we were. No, we were in Montreal. Oh. Montreal, Paris. Montreal. And here's what I thought of. Um, uh, and actually, I liked Montreal, but here's what I thought of Ottawa. Yep. Mm. I agree. Fucking beast piece of shit town. I have fun in Ottawa. What did we do? Actually, you know what? All I did Nick was take an edible and go to bed. Yeah, you were going to bed at like 7 p.m. <laughs> I, I fell asleep <laughs> at 8.30 p.m. Nick and I went to Walmart <laughs> in the middle of the night. And it was I was jealous. Town. That honestly yeah. sounded like a funny. evening. We were playing catch with the balls in the sports I equipment doing department. That, dude. Yeah, it was was there anything funner as a child than going to fucking sports authority and shooting hoops indoors? Yeah, but... It would always suck when they had like that, like the net, the net mm-hmm. on top of fucking the. Pieces yeah. of shit. Let's that is, he's like going to sports authority and you just curl the fifty pound weight one time, and you're like, why don't I just do this instead of going to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I can work out for free in sports authority. <laughs> <laughs> like they wouldn't start recognizing you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think one curl? Can I do one curl and just be jacked? Yeah. Uh, one a day. One a day, dude. Yeah, that's like one of those, you know. It's like me every day. You just do ten push pushups. <laughs> that's how I stay in shape. It's like really, just guys that are naturally jacked. Yeah. Are you guys talking about black guys? Yeah. No, I was talking about a guy that's uh, deaf. Oh, that's why he sounds. That's like why he says mean. Yeah. Mean. No, mean. I can't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be lip reading. Mm-hmm. You know, a deaf non-black guy from the bay. Uh, no, no, yeah. not from the bay. I'm from. Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> My ass is from Norfolk. I'm, I'm trying being, to go to I'm the bay, from dude. Norfolk. What? I'm trying to go to the bay. The Virginia Tidewater the, Bay. The, the Virginia Tidewater <laughs> Bay. The I want to go. No, the Virginia Tidewater. Listen, Adam, please. Yeah. I'm trying to go to Roanoke, Virginia. I'm trying to go uh-huh. to fucking. How about Blow a Bloke, Virginia? Blow a Bloke. <laughs> blow a Bloke. You blow a British guys? Oi, mate. Yeah. I've had these. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's Australia. Oh, good sir. Would you suck oh, hello, my dick, sir. please? Good Welcome bloke. to Blow a Bloke, man. Virginia. Blow a Bloke, Virginia. They got a big star on a hill there. Virginia originally settled by gay very, British very guys. Very creepy looking star. Was it really? like where the original. Settlement was was it Roanoke know. one of the you first? You drive through Roanoke Jamestown. and you got a big oh. fucking like creepy star on a hill that makes you like feel that. like you're in like some satanic cult of a I city. I don't fuck with that. Yeah, I had a burger once in Roanoke when I opened when I was on tour with Wham City. We did a burger restaurant, yeah. and they got to say, pretty good burger. So that's really? my wait. Did I s- Roanoke or Norfolk? Roanoke. Oh, never mind. I Norfolk's had the burger down in by the water. Roanoke's like, like in the mountains. Yeah, it's out by like Tennessee or some shit. Yeah, I've never been there. I just remembered. I've been yeah. to Norfolk. Yeah, you. It's weird because like Virginia's right there. You know, if you are from Maryland or whatever, so you think like, oh, that's just Virginia, but you forget how fucking big it's Virginia huge. is. Huge. Yeah, and yeah. so like you get into Southern Virginia and like this is just the deep South. Oh, it's crazy. It's yeah, fucked and up. it's still Virginia. Yeah, you you could. One time I did a gig. I did the one of the first paid gigs ever that I ever did was in Southwest Virginia. It called. It was like a four hour. I was like Virginia. Yeah, I'll do it. Mm. And then I got home and like 
literally had to Google Maps. I didn't have a smartphone, mm. and I looked it up, and it was like a four and a half hour drive. Yeah. And I got paid fifty dollars, and I lost like you know a hundred dollars on the gig. Yeah. Eldis and Pete came with me. Went to IHOP. I got food poisoning. Nice. I was shitting and uh, puking at the same time. Yeah, that happened I got to me ribs. in Virginia too. In Nick's car. Yes, we've talked about. I think yeah. we both, this is this keeps happening. Probably we talk about it a lot. Yeah, but there's not many stories we have when you consider that we spent the last three years doing nothing but this podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's like what? oh yeah, we it's our life experience is over. Oh, you're done. There's nothing new. So now we have to be like yeah. And one time. Uh, a guy saw me wearing a yellow shirt and yeah. it called me gay. Mm-hmm. Damn, did that happen? No. Oh, well, but I did I remember that. about that. Seemed like that. a fake story. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> setting off alarms. Bra- you're making that up, dude. You I'm sound bragging. Cool. Sorry, dude. that's fake. I don't as own hell. a yellow shirt. Uh-huh. I did remember a time where a guy made fun of me because I was crying because I you're I had gay. found out that my uncle. No, not that I was gay. I found out that like uh, um, one of my uncles, basically, you know, when it's like. A friend of the family that you call an uncle that he when he I was four died. years old I cried because I thought I was gay because I cleaned my room and my uncle died. <laughs> yes, that's correct. That that's lyric? that song. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He thought he was gay because his room was tidy. Yeah, which honestly, pretty gay. He's gay. I'm so glad that guy disappeared. Mac Suck Dicklemore. Yeah. I mean, just like it was obvious to everybody that that guy was garbage. Yeah. And then he like, won Rap Album of the Year over Good Kid, Mad City, which is one of the biggest travesties uh, of all time. Tra- <laughs> travesties. Travesties. It was one of the biggest travesties of all time. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's rich as fuck, though, dude. One hit single, and you're like a fucking billionaire. From the thrift store song? Dude, thrift store. That man is caked up for eternity off that alone. Damn. Damn. I should, we should write a hit song. But, okay, let's, let's do Fuck Store. No, not fuck store. It can't be a parody. It has to be an original song. It isn't. That's oh it yeah. It has I to get, be about. So he likes going to the thrift store. So it has to be about something, something we, we like, like to, to do. do. Yeah, with our free time. Nick could write. Um, going to the gym or something. Kissing a guy. No, I Being mean gay. it doesn't have to follow the formula of something we like doing. Yes, it either. does. No, but that's how it's a he hit found maker, Something dude. that other people like to do. No, no. The num- the songs that do well are about like. It, describing emotional abuse and framing it as love. Mm, That's okay. how you read an iconic song. Mm. Okay. It's like, okay. I didn't want to cheat on you, but I found out that, you know, I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Girl, I didn't want to, to betray your trust until I found out this other bitch would <laughs> let me smash. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, right. I cherish you and I love I you. I want to be with you forever until I get a chance to fuck this other <laughs> bitch <laughs> <laughs> who I thought she wasn't interested. I thought no other girls but you wanted right. to fuck me. But then I wrote that song and <laughs> It blew up. <laughs> oh wow! And this is meta, dude. Yeah. You wrote the song before you did it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and now everybody wants to fuck me, <laughs> and I think that I should. I think I earned it. <laughs> All right, I think yeah. we got it. Dude. I love you. Yeah, I love you, but I earned more than that pussy. Uh, yeah. By by P. Bo Bryson. <laughs> no, what's our group name? If ever I get a chance to fuck. Another bitch I will (laughs) We had a once in a lifetime But then I found out I could fuck another bitch (laughs) If ever you're in my arms again This time I'll lie about cheating <laughs> I've learned my lesson, yeah. girl. I found out so my friend who is a, a legitimate psychopath told me that it will make your relationship better. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Because because the pussy be trash. <laughs> because it, then it, you it love confer- your bitch girl. Would you say that, that, that it confirms how much you love the person? No, I didn't say that. What was the point you made then? I Do it in the song so it's not about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, I did not say <laughs> this, but I was thinking yes, about my dad, did. and he was with, he's been with the same bitch for 40 years, <laughs> and what if one time he just got pussy, <laughs> and then decided that he was already with his soulmate. That's true. 
You should be able to fuck someone else every 10 years to check in. 40 years is a long time. 40, 40 years, years, is years is too long, long for too no long pussy. Long time to fuck the same <laughs> pussy. 40 years is a long the non, time. The poly anthem. <laughs> <laughs> the non monogamy anthem. What? <laughs> I love you, but your pussy is trash. Anyways, yeah, if you could write a song if like I that. If I could just fuck another bitch if every I could once just in fuck a while. Just one extra bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's just all I'm one asking. One more bitch. <laughs> just let me fuck one extra bitch. <laughs> I only I just wanna want fuck one, one more bitch. extra pussy. I just wanna fuck one more pussy. Yeah, we, baby. Should, we can get like a big uh, church choir. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a big or uh, just like an orchestra. One more you know I me. love you, but I can't deal with just one pussy. <laughs> you know I gotta have just one extra pussy. <laughs> Damn, dude, we got a couple in here. Yeah, yeah. That I really whole like. Com- I think compilation. We have an album. Mm-hmm. Time Warner Classics presents. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Frakes. <laughs> have you ever wanted to fuck another bitch? <laughs> it's just beyond belief. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's, 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 it's both a, a compilation of songs mm-hmm. about cheating, but it's also the show. It's, beyond a, belief. it's an episode of Beyond Belief. Yeah, it's just him riding up on that bicycle. Have you ever wanted to fuck another bitch? Totally true. Yeah. 100% correct. How about the one about the guy that cheated on his wife with cancer? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> a similar guy did something that cool years ago in <laughs> Sacramento. In the 1980s, a man in Sacramento got an extra pussy. <laughs> Just the stories of guys cheating and getting away with it. <laughs> yeah. VH1 storytellers. Yeah. I wrote this song. Uh, what about the one who, what about the guy whose wife's car broke down while he was at home having sex with her sister? <laughs> <laughs> that well, one's true too. It's true. They're all true. Yeah. People should be with each other for a lifetime. Mm. What about the one? Uh, what about the bitch that thought she could cheat on her husband as well, and everything turned out okay? We made it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely false. <laughs> Women are to be conquered. <laughs> <laughs> totally false. Yeah. What about the guy that lied to his wife and said he entered a pussy eating contest at the state fair? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why his and face smelled like pussy. That's why he had a bunch of <laughs> pussy juice in his beard. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I love it. What about the guy that decided to not cheat on his wife and he remained happily married for the rest of his life? Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Completely <laughs> false. Not, not this time. No chance. That one's bullshit. <laughs> that one's complete. That one's shit. a bunch of shit. <laughs> 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 Just one more pussy Coming up on Beyond Belief Give me one more little taste of clit A guy that was able to fuck A woman who works at Panda Express <laughs> And his wife never found out about it <laughs> <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Isn't that do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. So All of them have the same song <laughs> 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 Beyond Belief, a show where guys get extra pussy <laughs> and their wives don't find out about it. Hosted by Jonathan Fricks. Honey, what are you watching? Nothing. I'm watching a fucking watching show. A show. you fucking bitch. Stop. Oh, so I can't watch the show now. So the show He's just I- taking notes. He's got a fucking legal pad out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the shows describe oh, okay. my behavior. Time that I can't watch shows, oh, I guess. Oh, I guess I oh you watch The L Word. You're a fucking lesbian, oh, huh? That's you, how yeah. it works. You watch Sesame Street with the baby. Oh, I'm I guess. a Muppet now. I would think you're just a fucking blue bitch who lives in a trash can or something. <laughs> so I watch one little show <laughs> about one cheating sh- on your wife and, and it's take my notes. favorite show. And it's because my- I like the guy from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> because I think he's a good actor. Sue me for liking him, bitch. Yeah, he sue, is. Co- take me to fucking court. No, and it sue does me count as acting. He's doing a good performance as this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess Dude. it's easy to act now. You fucking do. Oh. You host a show. Oh, you're. Oh, a you good can host act. a show oh, now. Oh, you're good at acting. Maybe it's because you're the one who cheated. Maybe it's because you're acting like a fucking bitch right now that you're good at. I'm fucking sorry. Acting. I went too far with that one, I'm but sorry. I, you need to understand how angry you make me. <laughs> What about the guy who was angry, so he cheated on his wife for getting Oh, oh wait, wait, just <laughs> clicking, getting the, the remote. No, not this one. <laughs> yeah. just You're right, it's a bad show, it's a bad show. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 
I want to fuck a whore that's not you. What about the guy who pretended to have cancer so he could fuck a bunch of nurses? The nurses. <laughs> so he could spend weeks in the hospital <laughs> fucking all the nurses. They have legally that if you press the button, it's part of care. They, yeah. And they're on and it's, they're on call. It's in the Hippocratic Oath. A similar story it. happened in Saudi Arabia. The suck dick Hippocratic Oath. Nineteen seventies. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, you could film season after season of that show. Mm-hmm. They don't even. It's not even cheating. They just get yeah, extra beyond bitches. belief in Iran. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like, hi, I am Ian, uh, Jahan Jahanjar uh, Frakes, <laughs> and this <laughs> is this is beyond the belief. And uh, this is a story that is a Jewish man who <laughs> took a baby and he fucked it and drank the uh, blood from the baby so he could make breast milk himself. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> and he sold the breast milk to a uh, Muslim and Christian families. But the milk was poison. And for 10,000 years, they become uh, slaves to the Jew. That one was true. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that one is a true story. A story about a woman d- uh, driving a car. And there's a woman <laughs> totally that, false. That one is fake. That one is <laughs> complete <laughs> fiction. About the story about the man who is gay, and he, but he he lives happily in Iran. <laughs> we made that up. <laughs> Wait, Iran's not that bad, is it? Yeah. Aren't they cool? Gays? It's bad. Yeah, they make you get a pussy. They make they make Whoa, you become really? trans. They find yeah. out you're gay. They make you become trans. Damn. Damn, the Middle East really got because they were. That's cool. why Trump wants to go to war with them because he mm. thinks that's pretty jacked up. Oh, really? It's for trans. It's like I have a lot it's of friends. It's for gay visibility. I have a lot of friends in the LGBT community. It's I love that he's like just in North Korea right now, being like, "It's great here. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's great. They got a lot of. It's the demilitarized zone is beautiful. It's beautiful. There's I would good love to here. We've been uh, me and Kim Jong Un have been talking about the new Toy Story. Neither <laughs> of us really understand it. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck Yeah, if he was just like If he started off with like Well, first of all, I just want to say that uh, America's involvement in the Korean War was a genocide <laughs> And then like After that, then did all the North Korea stuff <laughs> It would just be like An extremely woke thing. It would be awesome Yeah, yeah, he's a fucking tanky Yeah <laughs> I wanna suck your dick Who's that massacre? That happened in the Korean War. The fuck lay the my pussy eye lie. No, not my lie. It was like wait, we no, like, we yeah. did like a literal genocide. We killed like fifty thousand civilians. Jesus, really in yeah. Korea? Well, in South Korea, it was like South uh-huh. Korean troops that did it under like authorization from. Damn. Who was the general Ro- Mick something? MacArthur. MacArthur. And Mick E. Mouse. And Mick- <laughs> I was oh, confused. All kill the- all the fucking traps. Oh. Oh. Stab any Jap you see. Make you Jap Korean. Yeah, but the enemies are. <laughs> no, they're also Korean. Oh, shut up. We're all Korean here. Oh, shit. Well, uh, I killed a bunch of them. I had a right wing teacher in, in high school that used to get pissed off because he'd say that we didn't let him finish the job that he started. In Korea? In Korea, yeah. Interesting. And he wanted to uh, kill every Korean that lived? or Yeah, he said we should uh, we should have just killed them, you know. It was Clint Eastwood. My teacher was Clint Eastwood. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, movie recommendation. I watched The Mule on the way to Vancouver. We don't it, recommend it. I yeah. recommend it. Wholeheartedly recommend no, it. No, actually, no. It's don't, Clint don't has two it. separate threesomes in the movie. Oh, damn. Okay, never A man mind. of 89 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he write that and direct it? Yeah, he did it all, baby. Respect, He makes a bro. movie a year. The man is a machine. He makes a movie a year, and in this one, he got two threesomes as an old-ass man. And it seemed like the... the, the it and it was like the message sex. of the movie you know was like, this his, is his How many farewell. times his handlers have uh, probably had to been like, we're not letting you make a George Zimmerman movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to play, play the son of a bitch to put that animal down. And they're like, no. He does it in a fat suit. Right. <laughs> Just in brown face yeah. in a fat suit. My name's <laughs> Spick Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, buddy. <laughs> I'm Spick Hitler. <laughs> this is the night of long knives. Um, I have a movie recommendation. I just watched Black Swan for the first time. <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> it's a good movie. Yeah. And there's a scene where Mila Kunis eats Which Natalie one? Portman's pussy. Yeah, I like and that And it was part. awesome. Honestly, it was fucking chubbed up. And I had just beat off earlier to a different thing. And still, and I had taken Adderall. So my cock was not at, 
you know, full mast, let's say, to begin uh-huh. with. And even with all of those things, and I was hungry, so, you know, that I don't have all my calories yeah. to get hard. Even against all of those obstacles, that particular scene was so horny that, that my cock stiff. was like, I would say, one-third hard. Damn. Which is nice. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Well, anyway, the mule seemed like it was kind of a farewell letter to, you know, filmmaking. But he's making another movie already. Oh, really? And it's about that guy, Timothy Jewell, who was, like, be- uh, blamed for the the Atlanta Olympics bombing. But it wasn't him? But it wasn't him. Uh, but he's filming it in Georgia, even though Hollywood has a boycott of Georgia because oh, of the abortion of ban. But Clint's like, I need to do it. Fuck for those whores. Fuck these bitches. Keep your legs together, you fucking whores. Yeah, he rocks, dude. Yeah, salute. Nick, it's your turn for a movie recommendation. Oh, we uh, went around the room. Boondock Saints. <laughs> that movie's tight. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty For sick. thee, my love, for thee. My pussy in your be- b- b- the way they cheeks. Put, the way they put pennies on. The way they hit that fat lesbian lady. What's her name? Chancey Douglas. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Is that somebody? No, I don't think so. I thought maybe that was your name. <laughs> That's a good name. Yeah. For a fat lesbian, Chancey Douglas. Yeah. But at the butcher shop, it's like the rule of thumb or something. Mm-hmm. And they just beat the shit out of a woman in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. They can just speak like six languages too. In hindsight, a lot of Who, that Mayor is. Mayor Pete? A lot of, bo- yeah, Boondock Saints is based, that's what Mayor Pete <laughs> based his life off of. Oh, we got to do a recap of the Democratic debate. Oh, yeah, I, for sure. I watched the first one. I only watched the end of the second yeah. Shut up. So let's do a recap. All right. Yeah. Who's uh, yeah, that Joe bitch, Biden. Marianne. Joe Biden was like, look, I want to make something clear. I don't need some black woman <laughs> fucking <laughs> ragging my ass <laughs> all day long. <laughs> Finger popping Joe is at it again, brother. Yeah, he was he he did a. Uh, I saw on Twitter that he was at a gay like fundraiser. Or yeah, some I saw shit. that shit. He's like, look, five years ago, a gay waiter came by and he <laughs> called him a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> he literally said it five years ago. For being... You could just mock a gay waiter, <laughs> and no one would say anything. And everyone thought that well, was really he was, cool. He was the vice president. <laughs> five, five years, years ago, ago, he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he was already the vice president. I think he, I think he, he might was almost <laughs> no longer the vice president. Yeah, dude. He <laughs> might be more senile left. than Trump. Yeah. He fucking rules. He's such a fucking idiot, dude. Yeah. He keeps fucking up and people are so stupid. I think he's going to win. He stinks, dude. He really does stink. I think he's going to probably it'll probably I think he'll get the I nomination cuz here's the thing, Trump. all that like fucking clap back bullshit with fucking like uh, Kamala calling him out. It's like there's so many people that are just like, yeah, we want a uh, fucking middle of the road. Exactly. People so, are like yeah. and like people that are like even they like they liberal people are like, oh, Bernie's too far to the left. Why don't we just pick a middle? Everyone will like Biden. Yeah. They just think and they all the same way they thought Hillary was automatic. Yeah. They're like, well, Trump's not going to win. It's like this just happened, you dumb motherfuckers. Yeah. That's why we got to elect Marianne, that bitch that has crystals in her pussy. And Yo, yeah, my yeah. dad my dad made a joke on the phone. He's he like, wants to have sex with her? He does. He <laughs> it's, it would be okay if I just one time out of 40 years had sex with Marianne Williamson. Mm-hmm. Just one time. <laughs> ah, I heard this immediately song. Immediately afterwards <laughs> realized how much he loves my mother. <laughs> I heard some good songs, and I watched a TV show. Well, that w- the reason I said that was because of f- fake breasts. That's why I said oh. it. Because he's... I bet f- sticking your dick into Marianne Williamson's pussy sounds like an old windshield wiper. Oh, I bet you she gets wet as hell. I think so, too. My dad, well, on the phone, so. he was like, do you think she had a yoni egg in her pussy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good one that from was Pops, pretty, It made me laugh. Maybe we yeah. should replace you with your dad. Honestly, Honestly he'd that probably would be, be awesome. better. Yeah, he can't should do it. That's why he hates you, because he's so much funnier than you. Ooh. No, he's not funny anymore. But he used to be? He used to be pretty funny, yeah. Damn. Although maybe I thought he was that looks funny cute, dude. Look at is that Oakland and San Francisco? Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah. That's yeah. Marin in San Francisco. I want to go, dude. And then Oakland's across the bay. Oh, there. okay. Oh, look at look at Mr. Mr. Geography. Shut Mr. the bay fuck up. That's the that's the shut up. That's the park. Shut up. Golden Gate. Stop park. trying to teach me shit, motherfucker. Okay, I'm sorry. Dude. Shut the fuck up. Oh, there's the Presidio. I told you to stop pointing at shit and trying to give me information. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not taking any of it in. I thought I was gonna yeah, take you on a virtual. Shut up. We're never gonna go to Los Angeles. Shut up. 
We're I don't want to go. In that city that we're looking at. Yep. It's not Los Angeles. It's San Francisco. Wow. It's, Couldn't uh, even resist that one, huh? Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Mm-hmm. Classic line mm-hmm. from the hit film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't it from Chinatown? Fuck. Forget it, Jake. It's Toontown. They say in that movie? Maybe. Forget it. Forget it. Eddie, it's too So time. Jack Nicholson, they were just like, he was like, can I just be named Jack? And they were like, he, no. Uh, how yeah. about Jake? She's like, okay. That's what they do in all of his movies. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. The Shining. He's named Jake. <coughs> yeah. Yep, he's named Jake and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, what's that? In, uh, in, in Batman, his character is J- the, the Jaker. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have uh, a request. <laughs> I can't do a film unless the character's name is Jake. <laughs> That's as far away from my own personality as I can get. And if you're unwilling to do that for me, I'm going to fake an Irish accent for half the film. I'm gay. The Knights of Columbus were true head crushers, real guineas. The chinks. No, 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 we don't have to, you don't have to do this. You don't have to like, that yeah, everyone him, YouTube this. We let him ad lib. <laughs> Actually, no one noticed it. He went into the edit bay right before the movie was released. It was just going to be images, uh, shots of Brooklyn or Boston. Boston and he, yeah. Oh, thank you, Adam. It takes place in Boston. Thank that's you. That's awesome. awesome that you, that I had to let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also good that you told us that. that well, a lot of people think it's the Brooklyn, San movie. Francisco, and not yeah. Los Angeles. I didn't. <sighs> that's the thing these mud lip Samoans don't understand. <laughs> he just goes. Is there a lot he of has Samoans? a list. <laughs> all the races. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Like Scorsese's like, we I don't told, have to get to I all the races. Square in the eye, and I said, "Listen to me, you Tongan wog. <laughs> if you want to make it in Boston." <laughs> You want to make it in Boston, New York. <laughs> Boston, New York. Boston. Boston. Shouts out to Boston Pizza in Canada, a fucking dumbass chain. Yeah. Yeah. Suck our dicks. As you know, Boston, home of the pizza. Yeah. The best pie. Back in the old day here in downtown Canada, <laughs> we had, there was the Guineas, <laughs> and there was the Vietnamese, <laughs> and they all came together for one reason. To beat up the... <laughs> okay, cut. Okay, cut. That's great. That's <laughs> super great. We're going to move on to the next scene where you're in the uh, the bar. Wait, whatever happened? Didn't Scorsese... Wasn't Scorsese going to make a movie with De Niro, Pacino, Pesci, like filmed in New York and shit? Goodfellas, yeah. Oh, the one where he's wearing platform shoes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's about some, like... Uh, that, the Irishman. Some, yeah, it's some... When the l- fuck is that coming thing? out? I think it'll probably come out soon. I feel like it's been shooting yeah. for, like, eight years. What do you guys think about that? Um, I, <laughs> I think, think they should hurry uh, up and make it. Thank you. They should hurry up and make a birthday cake for a dick to pop out of <laughs> and go directly into Adam's ass. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't, like that. Jack. My ass would be Happy above fucking the birthday, idiot. <laughs> so wait, you just in this had scenario, to let everyone know. So that Jack, San Francisco. <laughs> just to be clear, in this scenario, Adam is inspecting the cake with his asshole. Adam's hovering over the cake <laughs> with his gaping ass. Do you ever see that? <laughs> is that how you eat cake, Adam? Yeah, Adam can't wait to envelop that cake <laughs> with his stupid gay ass. <laughs> I was I'm a and big his fan assholes of the cake part puckering series. and quivering <laughs> and it I I we look over at him and he's blowing out the candles. Oh no. with my ass. With, with his ass. ass. You can the suck wind. in air with your ass. Well I blow out wind through my blow ass. Blow it out your ass. <laughs> Did you see have you seen cake farts before? Oh of course. It's the best. I was horny for it and then when she farted I was mad. The farting turned you off? I don't. I didn't like it. Oh, I found out something <laughs> new about myself when I saw There's it. There's a genre of world I star. I laughed so hard the first did time you? I saw it. Yeah, I did. I was. I was unnerved. I believe. I thought it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Because this is bare pussy and asshole, right? On a cake. bare pussy and asshole, and then she farts. <laughs> she sits on it. And she I farts. mean, you knew where it was going. It's called fucking cake farts. Cake farts. Yeah, they kind of buried. They kind know, of the opposite of buried. The not lead. buried the lead. They. They put the lead right in your put ass. Put the lead in the lead. Mm-hmm. They led, they the led lead. with the lead. They led with the lead. <laughs> <laughs> they buried the surprise. Mm-hmm. And then I buried my ass cheek, my dick in your ass cheeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they should. <coughs> they should have called it cake sitters. 
And then the fart would have been the punchline. That would be good. And then that's... No, but there's an elegance to naming your website cakefarts.com. Yeah. Were there were multiple Cake Farts videos? I just remember the main one, I, I think there was just one. But if it was a series, respect to that. I think it was, but I think only one got major traction. Nick, do you want to weigh in? Do you know anything about Cake Farts? It seems like you would. No. You it, don't? I don't know what Cake Farts is. Sorry. What? It's a girl... Sits on a cake with you, her bare you're pussy Mr. and ass. You're Mr. Fucking Internet, dude. Not anymore. I'm a 30 year old man. No, Cake Farts was like when we were like 15, 14. I'll pull it up. Yeah, Let's see if know. we still think it's funny. Yeah, I saw it when I was like 13 and I, I was, mm-hmm. I thought it was so cool and hilarious. Yeah. I got a little I horny. I showed it to my teachers because I could see a pussy and I was like, nice. Because I don't think I was really jacking off to videos back then. Well, Streaming wasn't really as good. I went to my friend. High speed internet was really. I went to my buddy's house who had high speed internet. I didn't have. I think I had dial up. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't. Ja- so just seeing a pussy kind of bending over and opening up was kind of like nice. Yeah. But then the fart really ruined it for me, man. Should we have Vinny Beetle back on the podcast? Well, I heard. Honestly, uh, literally, I yes. heard yeah. there's some drama. There's there some is trouble drama. in paradise. We should let him fucking have he, his say. He rules, dude. I mean, he like robbed all of Bam's artist. fans, <laughs> and now he's like, now he's gone to Disney World, <laughs> and he goes goes to Disney World <laughs> and bought a, a, a Mickey Mouse fitted. <laughs> 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 Which, by the way, he's posting, kudos. He's posting Instagram videos. He's like, I don't have any of the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here in Disney World buying the most Vinny Beetle products. I mean, kudos <laughs> to Disneyland because it's A like... flat brim Mickey Mouse fitted. Because yeah. the that white rocks. trash is going to take their fucking non-married family, their children out of wedlock, to Disneyland. And it's yeah. going to be like the biggest th- deal of their lives. Look, for some people, buying a ticket to an event... Promoted by Vinnie Beetle and at Bam Margera's house, that's Bitcoin. Yeah. You took a huge risk. <laughs> yeah, you lost. And the payoff, I mean, yes. the payoff is that instead of it going to a million dollars, you get to get shit on in a bathtub filled with piss <laughs> by fucking. Yeah, that's what you missed out. That's what you're uh, by, mad by you Rab didn't get himself. to do. Yeah. Honestly, like, there was I- an opportunity for that to happen. <laughs> For like a Swedish screamo band <laughs> to take a dump on your dick in the half pipe, <laughs> you know. But yeah, in, but instead, you got played by Vinnie Beetle, who took your money, to, who went to Disney World with mm-hmm. your money, with your money, which is just such a funny thing, you know. It's Honestly, like it's I'm not a- like he escaped the fucking Havana. Right, he's he's at the Tower of Terror. Yeah. <laughs> he's taking pictures with Cinderella <laughs> in a fucking like you know with like a Donald Duck branded wallet chain, <laughs> <laughs> just b- blowing all the money in a gift shop Incredible. in Disney World. Yeah, he's buying nineteen dollar chicken tenders he's, with your yeah. fucking. He's taking your money and going to Disney World. <laughs> And buying an eighty-five dollar fucking why so serious hoodie. <laughs> he fucking rocks, dude. Yeah, dude. honestly, like for anyone I've ever met in my entire life, I think perhaps I had the least respect for him. <laughs> you know, and and now that I found out that this whole thing was a scam, uh huh, I kind of really like him. Now. I do too, man, because he's like, you know what he is is you can be such a fraud that you're authentic. Yep. You know, yeah. I mean, Vinny doesn't know any better. No, like, the doesn't. only thing Vinny can do is, like, be a con man forever. <laughs> you know? Is he even... Did, yeah, I guess. No, he's a con man. I mean, he's definitely a con but man. But did he fall into it? Like, how did this happen? I think he's pulled it before. Yeah, it's a bunch of people warned me about him whenever, like, I, I first did it. Oh, and really? We had him on, yeah. Oh, respect, then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People are like, hey, he he's like, he, he finds, t- like, new comics and then, like... I guess ask them to invest in a show. That's awesome. He's like, if you give me two thousand (laughs) dollars in eight weeks, I'll turn it into six thousand (laughs) dollars. The premise is that he needs the money to set up like some bringer show or something, (laughs) and then it just doesn't pay. Awesome, dude. Yeah, no. If you go to his Facebook, he's like, he's like, just had an like sickest hot dog at fucking skate park (laughs) hot dogs. There's someone in the comments that's like, Vinny, my brother has cancer and he needs that six thousand dollars. Brogdon's going to the Pacers. I know, man. I know. I was trying to be a professional. I saw Sorry. it. Fuck. I'm, that sucks. I mean, you know what? Fuck, fuck Milwaukee. And I don't Bogdanovich care. is going to Utah. Okay, sorry. Really? Bogdanovich to Utah is actually nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Utah is going to be all right. Fuck. Gian- I mean, whatever. Giannis is just going to leave in a couple years. That's fine. 
But Milwaukee's fucked. Fucking, they chose fucking Bledsoe over Brogdon. Why the fuck did they give him that extension anyway? I'm going to be a pro, and we're going to talk about how fucking much of a bitch Vinny, Vinny Beetle yeah, is. Yeah, back to Vinny. <laughs> yeah, what a, what, <laughs> what a fucking character. <laughs> yeah, let's have him back on. Mm-hmm. I wanted was to get his side that, of the story. Was he scamming that fat boy that he was with, the, like, the open micer, his friend? Elias or whatever his name is? No, was? I mean, I don't think the I guy's think evil. He's Eli- just like... Elazar. Elazar. No, he's just a guy that's like, you know, I mean, yeah, he's a con artist. He's like, needs to get his money. I mean, it's not like he's rich. No. Right. He's, you know, survi- he's, just... he's surviving, and this is like how he knows how to like, that's like, you know, he just drags people down with that's him. What makes <laughs> it, that's what makes it kind of appealing. It's like he's he like, yeah, he's like an absentee father that's like, I'm going to make it there for your birthday this year, Sarah. <laughs> and then Sarah, like, you know, she's like, this has happened every year of her life. Of course. But she's 14 now, and she's like, maybe she's a grown up and she can connect with her dad on some level. Yeah. That, you know, he like, maybe he'll, maybe he, she can just show him that, she, like, she loves him anyways. And then, you know, he's like, sorry, I had to go to... I was selling fucking uh, 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 nitrogen balloons in the parking lot of uh, WrestleMania. (laughs) So I I missed your birthday again. Because I have this... But I had a nice scam going. I had this nitrogen (laughs) balloon deal. Because I was trying to save up for a bus ticket. (laughs) So I could take you to Disney World. (laughs) And then she's like seeing the pictures of him at Disney World by himself. Dude, if he's by himself, yeah, that would be the best thing of all time. Yeah, with some woman he met at fucking like, uh, 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 like happy hour at TGI Fridays. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, yeah, I actually run the karaoke here. (laughs) Thirty-seven-year-old divorced Latina. (laughs) Vinny, you stupid. (laughs) Stop, girl. Stop playing. I want to take you to Disney World. I'm gonna take you to the most romantic place on Disney World. And then he's like looking at his phone. They're in the fucking like Motel (laughs) Six, thirty-five minutes outside of Orlando. (laughs) Just just, my man's in (laughs) Jupiter, Florida. (laughs) Just not even close to it. And then like in the uh, in the fucking the Econo Lodge in Kissimmee, Saint Cloud. Yeah, uh, down like it's nice. Right, an hour outside of a uh, uh, an evacuation route. In the middle of the woods, and he's looking at his phone. He's like, "Fuck! It's my daughter's birthday. I forgot." <laughs> <laughs> he's like that kind of guy. He's like, "Babe, can I can I hold your phone?" Yeah, yeah. Because his fucking service has gone like, off. Yeah, right. He's like, "Can I call? But can I call my daughter from your phone?" Mm-hmm. And it's like perfectly clear on her phone. But he's like, "Listen, I love you, but I'm breaking up, and the service isn't good. I'm on someone else's phone, and like." I've, I've been trying so hard to get to you, but my phone's messed up, and the, now the battery, great, the battery's low on this one, but I love you, and I can't wait to see you, and we're going to make it up I'm for gonna you. I'm going to make this up well, to I'm you, I'm going to make it up for you, like, because you're my girl, you're my number one, and I can't wait to see you and get home, and uh, can you put your mom back on the phone real quick? Yeah, listen, uh, I'm not going to be able to do the child support this month, <laughs> and I would appreciate it if you didn't report me, because I need my driver's license for work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. What do you mean you saw the pictures of me at Shoney's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I can't have dinner now. <laughs> Shoney's. <laughs> <laughs> He's posting pictures at Shoney's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he rules, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Just to be that. Yeah, I mean, no, he'll I, never have more than five thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I texted, him, a, I texted him. I texted him. I was like, "You're like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys, but yeah. you're like a real guy. <laughs> you're like if Ricky was like absolutely real." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, oh, my girl. Yeah. My girl is crazy. She's got like eight earrings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best brags I've ever oh, heard. You said wow. like four. <laughs> it, was it wasn't even that so many. Manageable. Yeah, my my girlfriend's got like four earrings. <laughs> Yeah, so open invite, Vinny, Vincent, if you'd ever like to come Come back. Come back, Vinny. I'll give you my social security number if you do the show again. (laughs) He doesn't know how to do those. No, he doesn't. That's too high level. Yeah. 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 Now, he's like, his next thing is like selling a handicapped person's seizure medication (laughs) to high school. Yeah, he'll buy a, a pill press. He'll like find a way to make fake pills. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be tight. Yeah. We should actually invest in that. That's yeah. how uh what's his name died? Lil Peep. Yeah. From but fake Xanax. I don't know. Yeah, the deal but is didn't they I put guess, fentanyl in it? They put fent in it. Yeah. We wouldn't put fent in it. 
He's been Rupert refunding Kratom. people. He tells me Hell that yeah. I, I didn't hear his side of the story. Nice. And it's like, I didn't even really hear Bam. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. It's just <laughs> funny that you're having a war on Instagram. <laughs> Clearly, maybe, I mean, you're both stealing from people. Mm-hmm. There's no way people aren't getting stolen from mm-hmm. <laughs> one way or the other. That concert sounded like it was going to be sick. Yeah. yeah. Who do you have? Machine Gun Kelly or something? Machine Gun Kelly was going to be there. That's um, pretty sick. He couldn't. He he he's not friend. He's not friends with him anymore. But it it was a him cover band. Oh, Bam had a falling out with him. I don't know, but I'm guessing. <laughs> it would be so funny if you had a him cover band playing. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Damn. I'm fucking upset about. Bob there was this lesbian girl in high school oh, yeah, that hated her. me, and she. Oh, would, I know her. She would wear him. Uh, hardogram shit all the time. Really? Yeah, she fucking hated me. And like Invader Why? Zim shit. Why? Um, because she wanted to fuck you. Because I was probably an asshole at the time. You were homophobic. I thought, <laughs> at the, no, not because of that. No. Yeah, no. She was annoying. You know, she was just an annoy. She was like a, you know, the one that raises their hand first and like you know. That's yeah, that was you. She dude. was like, can can I have more homework kind of person? Yeah. So you. It wasn't me, dude. I was the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> or they came and skate the barn or got some art or something. So I hope this video gets out to mm-hmm. as many people as it can. Please hit me up if you have not gotten a refund to that party because I know I spoke to at least 50 of you guys. <laughs> and hit me up and I'll send you his way because if people are going to his house saying that I never gave them their money back for the party, well, I wasn't in control of those funds. So. As far as the comedy shows that we booked, I am completely responsible for producing those events. Um, and Bam, with the pressure of his family and Steve-O and everybody, <laughs> Steve-o. forced me to cancel everything. And Steve-O forced last Vinny week, to cancel. He didn't want to make the Instagram videos for unless I sent him more money. And I wasn't sure if he was going to show up sober or not because in New York City, as you see on TMZ, he went crazy and canceled two shows in one night. I so saw that. my fault, but he's got to own it too. Mm-hmm. Thank you. He mm-hmm. just wants the truth out there. Yeah, that's a shitty position to be in. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, prayers up for Vincent Beetle. I hope he's getting his cock sucked in on, on at uh, the Epcot Center. Yeah. And I hope uh, he returns home strong and mighty and free of controversy. And he's welcome to come air his side of the story. Yeah. But he's such a talented comic, you know. Yeah. Well, he we're all such troubled people. You what know? we got? Hold on, Nick's Us got clowns. Something. Well, no, he said there's another post here. It says, "Dear Bam, Bam fans, DM me. I'm contacting everyone who bought tickets to make this right. Although I didn't organize the event, we will make sure everyone is happy." Mm. So I don't know if he even organized that party. I mean, Bam's also a fucking lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> like it's very possible that he's mm-hmm. just. Yeah. You know. No, I'm Team Bam for life, for for sure. Not me, dude. I'm Team Don Vito. What, my my loyalties <laughs> died when Don Vito died. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. He was set up by those children he molested. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they People were fucking talk plants, about that dude. Enough. They were plants. They everyone wants to see kids lie. A strong man taken down. A exactly. pillar of his community. Yeah, he was a philanthropist. Mm-hmm. He was a great man. Oh yeah, you guys want to get food after this? Um, I'll go with you. <sighs> Probably not. I'm sleepy. I actually I opened the online store back up. Oh, with the t-shirts? Yeah, and so now I'm gonna have to spend the night fucking printing out shipping labels and fucking. Oh shit, that's fun. You That'll like be doing a fun shit like that? Project. Yeah, you like sometimes. That kind of well, it stresses me out because it's like I don't want to fuck it up, and it's yeah. like it's surprisingly very hard mm-hmm. not to like. No matter how much I focus on shit like that, like. Mm-hmm. I, f- I fuck it up. Why don't you take Adderall? Or That's why I liked woodworking because if you fuck something up, you lose your hands. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. There's a real uh, price to pay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. You guys want to go see Midsomer? What's that? It's the guy that made Hereditary, his new movie. I do, but Hereditary not was boring. I'm tired. I'm I didn't think it was scary at you all. You didn't like Hereditary? I didn't understand Hereditary it. Hereditary rock. It went over my head. I, I yeah, didn't. you are stupid. As an intellectual, I did enjoy it very much. No, so. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll like concede that I like just did not understand anything about. What that is movie. there to understand? It's a cult. It's a satanic cult. They found a girl that's it's ugly. It's like Rosemary's Baby, kind of. 
Wait, but it's not. I mean, it's like they're it, trying to. No, man, it's, a, enough of, uh, it's about uh, schizophrenic motherfuckers. What? What? Hereditary. What are you talking about? That's what I'm thinking. Of, right? This, no, it's this a scary movie, movie that came out even, last year. Hold on, you haven't even seen the movie. It's about this satanic about. cult. It's about that's a satanic like trying cult. to like have the, the trying to like give birth to like the new. It's that like bitch that. with the fucking you, the clicks. You that say ugly little girl. You say ugly little girl. No, it is about schizophrenic motherfuckers. No, you huh? say like, oh, it's like Rosemary's Baby, and like, yes, I guess it's like Rosemary's Baby in the sense that there is like the cult is a, trying to the do the cult, same thing. They're trying There's to create no a cult. It, the mom has schizophrenia, and the fucking kid has schizophrenia. No, the boy becomes the new Satan. <clears throat> Come on, man, he's hallucinating all that shit. What? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Maybe I didn't get it. I think it's like an allegory for schizophrenia. Maybe. But what do I know? I just have a big ass delicious penis. I, I went to see but, it because well, I that's s- not true. So the movie thing can't be true. <laughs> yeah. The guy who made it is the same guy who made that thing about the son who rapes his dad. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah that's why I went to see Hereditary. Yeah, yeah. You were like, Me what too. the fuck? Yeah. No one's fucking their dad in this. That's not what I said. I just yeah. didn't get it. I heard you say it. It was like, no, it was just like, yeah, it was like, this girl's ugly, and like, it's a cult. I don't care. No, it was cool. It wasn't the cult. I mean, it was not even about the cult. It's so about it's like about, the mom. It's about schizophrenia. No, but uh, okay, on on the base level, then yeah, it's sort of about the cult, I guess. But that guy's not really Satan. I think he's hallucinating all that shit. I think he his like. Anyway, whatever. I don't give a fuck. It was a good movie. That know. guy, uh, what's his name? Is it Gabriel Byrne from Miller's Crossing? He plays the dad. What's with the little girl's head getting fucking knocked off? For, yeah, by that sign or whatever. Yeah. That's real. That that was that really happened. Yeah. The real the little girl really died when they made. <laughs> yeah, it. yeah, they chopped that fucking bitch's head off. You know, honestly, she looked like an owl. She that was a freak it. accident, and it fucked her mom. Has it's like schizophrenia or some shit. You know the other one that was bad that came out a couple years ago, Mommy Dearest. Did you see that? I didn't see it. It's like this Austrian like horror movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one was not good either. I never saw it. Yeah, Baba Duke was great. That's Australian. It's Jamaican. Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, Baba Duke. Yeah. Oh, he's the fucking Baba Duke now. They got a creepy long fingered man. Oh, he's got long here. fingers, man. And he's got a a, a Baron Samedi hat on, and he's coming through, and he's gonna <laughs> gonna make the little boy act bad. Piece off his uh, titty mom. I didn't see Baba Duke. Yeah, Baba Duke was good. I'll watch that shit. Out. <laughs> but no, that's, that's hereditary your, was that's good, your bro. Way. It's good because it's about something, and you figured it out. What? Hereditary. That it's about. No, no. I remember watching it and being like, "Damn, this is fucking wild." Because the whole time I'm like, "Is this really there's magic?" There's movies that I like. Is it, is it real magic? <laughs> no, in the movie is because clearly the fuck it. First of all, you fuck it. I I'm not that fucking stupid. I know. I know. But, I know. I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> just as Stav in a, a movie theater taking up an entire row, <laughs> just coming with popcorn everywhere. Wow. <laughs> just all these families. You're like, how is that man so large? It's funny to just imagine you as like comically fat. <laughs> right. Well, I got really scared and probably kind of distracted when I saw the movie because like four seats down for me, I went to see it with Dasha like in the middle of the day, like on a weekday. Yeah. And four seats down from me, there was a Three guy. guys blowing each other. No. Yeah. That would have <laughs> been way better. This is every time you go to the movies. Yeah, I just see a lemon <laughs> party just happen. following yeah. you. And then it's, it's it's you about schizophrenia. Those old French Canadian men That's blowing true. each other? Yeah. Uh, I uh you know because there's other movies like The Witch, I recognize the Witch as rocked. Like, I recognize as good, but it didn't, didn't do it, it. it didn't do it for me. I love that shit. You know what? I felt similarly about the witch I did uh that the witch, it was like, damn! I just want to see the movie where this bitch is being a witch now. Yeah, it's like you know what I mean. Those movies where I can recognize, like, I I like the witch as like a package, but it's like I don't really. I bet you like that package. It's like I don't really. Yeah, it did, like it wasn't scary to me. No, it wasn't scary, but it was, it was suspenseful. Not even for me. Mm. You know. I guess. It's like there's movies like like there will be blood, you know. It's like uh-huh. a, a lot. Actually, a lot of P.T. Anderson scared. shit is like I, I understand scary? why someone would like this, but it's not for me. Oh, you don't like P.T. Anderson? Not really. Do you like Boogie Nights? Yes, but that one kind of stands alone. Yeah. What else did P.T. Anderson do? The Master. There will be blood. Uh, the the blood. sewing movie. The, there will yeah, be blood. Dis does go off, but I didn't really truly get it that Boogie much. Boogie Nights. 
Boogie Nights rocks. Boogie dude. Nights is like my favorite movie. I like because yeah. you can see his cock at the end. It's fake. It's a prosthetic. I know, but I like it. Just so you know, that's props it. to Mark and every Wahlberg girl, for playing every girl, it off like it, like it wasn't. Respect. Every for that girl move. should know that it's a fake dick. Just so you know. <laughs> just so any don't girl listening, don't fuck. All twelve Mark girls Wahlberg. listening should know that that's not a real <laughs> that's penis. Right. Don't fuck. Instead, fuck Adam. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> instead of fucking Mark Wahlberg. Mm-hmm. Very um, true. Yeah. No. I. I liked. I like. Here's what I think about Hereditary real quick. I think the fucking grandma had fucking schizophrenia. I think the fucking mom had schizophrenia. The grandma was the devil. No, motherfucker. She was hallucinating all that dumb shit. And then the mom... Who was hallucinating The it? mom had it under control. She was fucked, but then she was hallucinating all that dumb bitch that was the mom's friend. That was whatever. And then the fucking son also had it. And he fucking freaked out at the end. He killed his mom. And he thought it was fucking the devil, but it, he did it. That's what I think happened. And if there was, if, if we dwell in a real magical world in that shit, then I, I was also interested in, in that sense. But half the movie's like, oh shit, is this real? Is it mm-hmm. a fucking mental illness? Who fucking knows? I like their house in the movie. House was cool. Yeah. And if, we, and if it was real, fuck damn, we just spoiled the shit out of this movie. Who huh? fucking cares? Rosemary's Baby's great. Yeah, that movie fucking is awesome. Never seen it. It's yeah. so good. That's probably why you like Hereditary because you've only seen bad movies. No, I've seen. Um, this is like when Ward L saw Spring Breakers and he wouldn't shut up about. No, it's now not I know like what that. Art is. Yeah, it's yeah. not like. Remember that? that? At all. He was just all over social he media. Was tweeting like, this about is truly it art. I have to go see it again. It's like no, it's just. He's why don't you just watch five more movies first? <laughs> yeah, watch different. Because movies. there's no realize. branding. There's so many good that. movies that are out there. Yeah. You know? Because that aligned with his brand. The thing about Brandon Wardell is <laughs> he's what you would call a fag. <laughs> Back in the day, you'd call a guy like that a fag. <laughs> Jack. Jack. Cut Jack. Right. Who's this kid? Brandon Wardell are you talking about? Right. Jack, that's our friend. In the Democratic debates. <laughs> Five years ago, you could call those guys fags. <laughs> now everyone's got their panties in a knot. God that's damn. the way they like it. Joe Shoved Biden. up their ass. <laughs> Their penis attached to the back. <laughs> <laughs> they tie their penis in their underwear. And it used put it to in be it was only the broads that had their panties in a knot, and now it's the fellas. <laughs> or is it their dick? And you don't know which bathroom you're supposed to use. <laughs> And then the, the whatever Rolling Stones song starts off that movie. Yeah, yeah. give me shelter. Just <laughs> yeah. shots of Boston. Bum, 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 yeah. bum, 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 Back in the day, bum, the only bum, thing you had to worry bum, about bum, was your wife <laughs> fucking the mailman. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to worry about your wife turning into the mailman. <laughs> She's going to get a piece of her leg cut out, <laughs> sewed onto her pussy so you can't fuck it anymore. <laughs> and now she's a fella, and if you don't suck that dick every day, you're a racist. <laughs> <laughs> the departed. Boo doo 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 doo. But uh 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 uh. I want to watch the departed again. Oh, give me shelter and my fuck my ass. I'm gay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, it'd be fun. I, I I might do that. Just take the opening and just do like a couple of passes with Why different not? different narrative at the beginning. <laughs> I mean, what you just said was fucking hilarious. <laughs> 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 now you got to worry about your wife becoming the male. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, you weren't allowed to fuck kids, and you still can't, <laughs> but you can turn them into a girl. <laughs> Damn, would you be mad if your wife transitioned? No, I would stay with her because I love the person. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, you would get so much side pussy. And everyone pussy. would be like... You would get so much side So much pussy. side pussy. And everyone would be like, like... Yeah, my wife transitioned. Everyone would be like, you're such a good, uh, so such you. a good guy. You know? Yeah. yeah a I lot guess. of women stay with their husbands when they transition. Do they? No, I don't know. That's <laughs> what... I, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. That's why. That's why we should marry bi girls. Stay with your wife in case we we become trans. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm about to go four. They used to let mm-hmm. you get your dick cut off and keep your wife. <laughs> 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 oh, my dick is soft. Oh, my dick is good. soft. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking. <laughs> 
I Woo. see a small dick and I want to suck it off. That's not in that movie. No, I know. But that one is in Stir of Echoes, though. What which, the fuck is that? That It was like a Kevin Bacon movie that's kind of a Shining ripoff, or mm. at least an homage to The mm. Shining. A homage? Yeah, Kevin Bacon, who's like... It's interesting that he's had, like, such a career. Yeah, truly. He's yeah, constantly really in strange. shit. Probably Still, his no. best um, probably his best performance, Mr. Donnie River. Darko. Mr. River. Footloose. When he plays the child molester or something. Mr. River. I've never seen Mr. River. Yeah. Donnie Darko is like, I was associated with that You're telling with, like, me that Jimmy knows that there's a river here that's mystic? <laughs> <laughs> is that the plot? Yeah. You find the magical river? Uh, the plot is Tim Robbins is raped by a priest as a boy. Damn. And he's kidnapped and raped for two weeks, and he escapes, and then his friends aren't allowed to hang out with him anymore. So they grow up, and one of the friends becomes a cop. The other one becomes, like, a criminal. And then Wait, isn't that another movie Kevin Bacon was in where he was the rapist? <clears throat> no, that's uh, Hollow Man. Yeah, he, like, rapes a bunch of kids in a jail. No, you're thinking of Sleepers. That's a good ass sleepers, movie. yeah, where the kids all go to jail and they yeah. fuck him up at the end because they kill that. Yeah, because they push that cart. They push the cart down, down the stairs. The subway. Yeah, yeah. What they go to jail for that? Yeah, yeah. I forgot the specifics. I just know that Kevin Bacon has his way with their asses. Yeah, which is pretty fucked up. Ooh, if you ask me. give me He's asshole. A really weird looking guy. His face is very skeletal. He's yeah. hot, dude. He's hot. You're mad. He should look like that. Kevin Bacon. You're jealous. Yeah. He's hot. He's got perfect goy nose. It's like a little bit upturned, not pretty Damn. small. You spend a lot of time thinking about that. I huh? think about nose shape all the time, of course. <laughs> what else could I think of? Yourself. Your nose is not even that big, man. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's more your whole attitude and vibe that's mm-hmm. the problem. Mm-hmm. Bad personality. Bad you personality. got a bad attitude, man. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. You're in for an attitude adjustment. You need mm-hmm. an attitude adjustment. I'm pull. I pulled down my pants, and attitude adjuster is written yeah. in very small font. Back on my in penis. the day, you could put a fish hook through a Chinaman's eye. <laughs> and go on to start your own the rap group. <laughs> <laughs> now you plant a rice cooker in the middle of the marathon, and everyone's calling for the death penalty. <laughs> Ooh, give me shelter! <laughs> Hell yeah. That's beautiful, Jack. Thank you. Very good. Mm-hmm. Jack, great, great stuff there. <clears throat> oh, my fault. Used to be a retard, wanted is. to go to Harvard. He just had to do a couple of faggot math problems <laughs> down in the basement. <laughs> but now you just need to be a faggot. And they'll put you on the admissions list for your charge. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, Jack. Ooh, ooh yeah. <laughs> 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 There's no way you can fuck my ass. How about this uh, this Vietnamese journalist that got fucking What happened? Uh, I haven't even Nick paid. Nick Yo? Yeah, Andy. No. Yo. Andy Nyo. Nyo. Andy Nyo pussy for you. No, <laughs> Nyo pussy for gay Andy. Nyo pussy for gay Andy. <laughs> 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 what? I don't even know what. He is actually gay, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know what yeah, he's actually is. gay. It's like a right wing. News site? It yeah. sounds stupid. That's a well, stupid. It sounds like name. toilet paper. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, Gillette. Yeah, but I thought it was Australian. I don't fucking know. What the fuck are you asking me for? Whatever. Who cares? And who is it? What happened? I don't even know where the f- this happened in San Francisco, in Portland. In Portland, there was like some anti for a parade or something. <laughs> they yeah. all fucking dressed in showed, black. Yeah. He showed up to take pictures and be like, "Why are you guys doing?" You know, blah 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 blah, and then they threw milkshakes at him, and one guy decked him and fucked up his eye. Oh, uh, nice! And now it's like, like people on the left being like, "He's not a fucking journalist," you know? Yeah. And uh, which, like, that is stupid. I mean, uh-huh. he writes things just because he's shitty opinions doesn't mean he's not a journalist. Sure. And uh, and then I guess could everyone, I be a journalist? All the alt right guys are now spreading this rumor that they put concrete mix in the milkshakes. <laughs> so he becomes nice. like a stone man. But he becomes a superhero. First of all, I don't know if you've ever mixed concrete, but you can't just yeah. You can't do it in a fucking paper cup. You can't do it. Well, I mean, you probably could, but it's like it's like finicky, and you can't just like dump it in. A it, fucking dries a little, yeah, it, it dries with, quickly with too. milk. Yeah, with like a bunch of other shit in there. It's yeah. just not going to solidify. Also, like even if it did solidify, I don't understand what you think is going to happen. It's just a thicker milkshake. I don't. 
No, it would be a fucking a rock. You would just be throwing a rock at him, basically. Yeah, but even if you threw a cup of water with rocks in it, it's not that much different than just throwing a milkshake at somebody. No, it's different. All right. I mean, why not just get a milkshake? Why not get a blizzard? Mm. You you guys want to go for blizzards after this? I do, but no. Yeah, Dairy with Queen sponsors the new <laughs> blizzard throw it anti-fascist. If you really hate That's fascism, praxis. you'll come to that is Dairy praxis. Queen. Mastercard presents <laughs> new quick pay. So if you want to, I do, I want to tweet at Mastercard and just be like, I just used Mastercard quick pay to buy gay sex at a truck stop. <laughs> I'm sucking a man's dick. Happy at, Pride at, at the Patterson, New Jersey truck stop. <laughs> thanks to Mastercard. <laughs> I'm stopping Trump by barebacking, mm-hmm. <laughs> by getting gonorrhea from a trucker. Yeah, I'm cutting up a bunch of cocaine with my MasterCard and, <laughs> and doing poppers and having... Salute to Pride, by the way. Yeah. Now, apparently, like, there was people spray-painting over the MasterCard logo, and then the city was, like, quick to fix it. At and Pride? Yeah, at Pride. Oh, did MasterCard, they sponsor Pride? They paid for everything. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I know. I watched some of the coverage of... I was sitting in a restaurant earlier, mm-hmm. and they just had it on. All the floats come by. There's the MasterCard the float, the HSBC float, the Bravo Network float. I mean, it's oh, like just... They, they love Bravo, those yeah, fellas. Sure, but I mean, it's so like... Is there a prep float? There should be stuff that gay guys like. There should I be mean, a, they do like A Bravo. flowy blouse float. Yeah. Crop tops. I saw a lot of crop tops. Yeah. At Pride? Mm-hmm. I missed Pride this year. I was at the beach. Mm-hmm. With who? But it's like brands used to With be like boyfriend. aware of how people could read that as like like the cynical and honest reading of like their sure. appropriation of that kind of shit. But because like woke people have like blown the doors off that kind of criticism where they oh, just don't care. Now every ad is woke. It, yeah, yeah, every ad is going to be woke because it's like they'll never recognize it for being yeah, as like cynical as it is. Yeah. They're like they're on board with it, like that, like that fucking like the that's what they want. The pink fighter jets for fucking <laughs> breast cancer <laughs> is like they could they could not be more excited about stuff like that. Yeah, they had pink buckets at KFC for breast cancer when like heart disease kills way more people. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's not start. You know, I would I would like to see the, the facts. On How that. about shark disease? Mm-hmm. What's that? Mm-hmm. You shit your pants till you die. You shit your pants till you die. Fuck. I hope that doesn't happen to me. Oh, my dick is hard now. Ooh, eat and me, I wanna asshole. Fuck a man. Thank you. Ooh, I am a faggot. <laughs> ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Correct. Incredibly correct. Very ass fucking true. Ooh, Rubio to the fucking sun. Oh, that's old. Marco Rubio? That's old news. Oh, so, my dick is small. You have a little ass penis? I would very much like to have sex with Marianne Williamson, though. Marianne Williamson? Yeah. Mary D. Williamson? You know she gives good top. Dude, you know, you know she, like... She does wild She's, like, one of those penis. older ladies that's, like, a sex nerd. She's, like, she knows... Mm-hmm. She'll she'll teach you. I bet you she would teach like you to twirl ha- my to have sex. Yeah, she, and she loves foreskin. She loves probably him. does. Although yeah, I, I would love to fuck her and be like, damn, I bet this would have felt so good four hundred years ago. <laughs> 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 I wonder how pussies stay intact. No, she probably like does kegels. She, oh, she keeps her shit kegels. tight. Mm-hmm. She looks good, dude. Yep. I don't understand. What? How is she running for president? Like, what is her qualifications? Love, love. Yeah, she drives a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Who was a, she? Who like she's got a bunch Oprah's of bracelets advisor. and rings, and uh, she oh, like yeah. she's Sarah basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, she's Oprah's spiritual advisor. Is that yeah. true? And she like wrote a bunch of books. Oh, that's about like awesome. Yeah, so yeah. she's just some dumbass. Dude, I love that crystal. fucking yeah, 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 soundbite yeah. bit from <laughs> totally. That soundbite bit from the uh, from the debate where she's like, 
She's like, we don't have a healthcare country a system in this country. We have a sickness care system yep. in this country. I, that what? sounded good. And it's like, I don't know what that like, means, no. but it's like when you go to like like a family event and like everyone's drunk and you're on. It's like I'll tell you what he is. He's a pussy grabber, <laughs> and then everyone just kind of glosses over it yep. because it's yep. like, oh, you've had like nine mimosas. And you're drunk again. Yeah, and we right. don't want to start a big family fight. Be- yeah, so Beth, everyone please. has to ignore it. Come Beth, on. Beth, Beth shut. We listened to your whole thing about how you can drink battery acid to cure cancer <laughs> yeah and you haven't kept a job for over two years you, yeah <laughs> the entire not family not is supporting at all you. right yeah. you you still think it's woodstock yeah <laughs> damn you know it's a fucking yeah it's the it's the tony's tony soprano's sister mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. character type yeah shouts out to her my favorite thing about she her is new that age, the new age the new uh, age boomer tat. the new age boomer narcissist oh, is what that is yeah Great, <sighs> great brand. I got a bunch of those in my family. Yeah. And let me tell you, I fucking hate them, dude. <laughs> they we don't have any of those, dude. They're too foreign for that shit. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I don't know if I told you, I'd like, uh, I, the story. I went to like a, a, like a Zendo once where, you know, you're sitting and then you like talk afterwards. And there, there was these Jewish women there. Mm-hmm. These like middle aged Jewish women. And afterwards, at like the Dharma talk, like the, the guy leading the thing was like a, like a, I mean, not necessarily a monk, but, you know, like a lifelong Buddhist or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he owned the property and he would lead the Dharma talk. But it was like open for anybody to share any thoughts they had or questions or whatever. Yeah. And this woman is like, uh, I would like to say that it was very nice sitting with you. I practiced in the Sodai, uh, a Soto, uh, uh, the Soto uh, style of Buddhism for many, many years. I went mm-hmm. to, and then she just starts rattling off like this <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God. So annoying, yeah, dude. and the fucking older guy was just so dismissive of her. He's like, yeah, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so what? You know? Because yeah. she's just trying to like, She's trying to brag. She's trying to brag, <laughs> and he recognized that immediately, and which is like kind of counterproductive to the whole. It's like whenever you go to a Q and A, yeah, the, everyone's question. But she is, was she was so immediately like just offended and kind of off put that he wasn't like, wow, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. It was she great. wanted that so bad. Yep. At a Q and A, everyone's question is like about showing case. off what they know, and then mm-hmm. there's really no question at the end. I can't even imagine asking a question at a Q and A. It's yeah, it's super what embarrassing. The fuck, dude. Well, I would just say "Baba Booey, Baba Booey." If they gave me the mic, mm-hmm. you know, I can't imagine what kind of Q and A I would go to. I've been to like mean, film you know, screenings like that have the director screen. yeah. at them afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Let some motherfucker. You should just go panel. to all of them at Metrograph and be like, um, "Will you do my podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> you should. Question. And I'm expecting an answer. That is a question. Yeah. I'm putting some feelers out there to get. OJ on the pod. Don't get excited, though, <laughs> folks. Well, why would you even say it? Well, you know, maybe they could talk tweet about, at him. I don't talk about like, my feelers. Please go and come to. I don't him. talk about my feelers out loud. Yeah, dude. Well, yours are probably more realistic. They're, well, they're dried up. But if we go, John McAfee, fucking is Uwe that dried Bull. up? I just haven't texted him. Text him. Text dude. him, dude. That'd be we'll go out to know. North Carolina. We'll fucking Let's do, go to North Carolina. We'll do like weird research chemicals with him. Yeah. Trip out on at the fucking on. It on is the pretty tight to be banks. like fucking eighty-seven years old, and you're like, yeah, blow, getting travel tattoos. <laughs> yeah, that guy rocks. That's when it's cool again. Yeah. Like doing the fucking gay shit when you're old makes it cool. Yeah. How much money does he have from from Plenty. the antivirus? Probably yeah. hundreds of millions of dollars. Dude, that's so sick. You think he'll give us a million if we ask him? He's like a rich he guy that he like care. he already had money and then he bought a bunch of fucking Bitcoin. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's loaded. Is he like a libertarian? Ooh, suck my asshole. Uh, oh, my dick is small. Uh, Um, well, well, folks, I think uh, we've. It's too hot to. Dude, to so I'm sweating. Folks, that's that'll do it for us. Hey, yeah. if you're around New York this Tuesday, come to my show at the stand. Next week, come to fucking Funny Moms on the eighth. Tuesday the second, Fat Tuesdays with your boy Stavros Hacks. We got Gary Goldman, Yamanika Saunders, Sam Morell, Emmy Blotnick. The eighth, we got Funny Moms. Uh, we have not booked it, but it'll be good. It'll be phenomenal. And uh, so we have Funny Moms every Monday, and then I do a show at the stand now every Tuesday. So come out to either one of those. Suck, fuck, get get your penis rubbed. The stand is now at Union Square. So that's pretty central. 
Easy um, to get to. Do Auto we have train. any? We don't have any road dates, do we? Nothing set, but watch this. We're space. trying, baby. We're trying to get on the road. Uh, everyone in America that's like, you don't, you went to two countries that are not America first. That's valid, but we are actually trying to get one together. Hopefully. For October, November. So we'll see, babies. We'll let you know soon. Thanks for listening. Come give us head by. Come give us head by. Come give us head by. Come give us head.